last time at SRS. 10 mil bolt sitting in the cylinder of this engine. Absolutely thing. Now we're going to go get the dog, sir. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. This week's episode is about Daniel's stories in the boot of this car. Right? Ultimate protector, right? I was taught as a kid if you don't want to have any children. Well, you yes, protect it, right? You just gotta put a bit on there. Rub it in. And yeah, there you One nut. <laughs> the clown that hides from gay people? Hides from gay people, clown. Why? Oh, I haven't seen clowns. He's hiding from you, bro. Do I look like a clown? No. Now, now you do, yeah. Why? The clown that hides. Is that hides. a joke? Is clown. that a joke? The clown that hides from gay people. Have you seen him? Am I a clown? How did I not see him? You haven't seen him. If I'm him, then I would have seen him. No, right? you're not the clown. You haven't seen him. He's hiding from you. Because you're the gay people. I'm the gay person. My name's Daniel John Weiss, I'm a poofter. S14, George. What we've done here is we've installed Red Bull. Welcome back to the channel. Um, got John's S14 on the hoist. It's been pulling it apart to sort of make a start on it. Knocked out the battery trays. The front trays, we're not going to do the tubs on this one. I think we're sticking to the OEM. Because it's LS, we have recessed the radiator support. Also made a dope fan shroud, which George will show you later. So we didn't go too crazy. We just used the OEM mounts and cut them up and moved them forward like 30 mil so everything sat away from a few things. Did have to make a new screen pipe because it sort of clashed with the fan shreds we are making. Trev, where's this going? Hey. Where's this going? Where See, he doesn't even know. <laughs> Trevor doesn't even know where it's going. Well, I don't know either. He's, George is asking me questions. So I'm trying to work out like sort of bit of toolbox talking and help. I don't know, where's it going? Eventually it's going to go home. So yeah, I think we're just going to punch this out then, pull the motor out, empty the engine bay, send it to paint the panel, get it painted in the factory jungle green OEM colour and then it comes back to us. And hopefully by then we'll have a new intercooler etc. to mount up and yeah. You show us your whistle George. <laughs> Is that Daniel? Yeah. You want to have a look? You're on team socks. I think he looks just like you. That's hilarious. He's just bro. like you. Yeah. Look. Like twin. Just the same yeah. stash. It's my uncle. We're going to give you a run now while we're up to it. So we've got a head here, head on the table. What's it off? So it's off an RB26. It's the LM33 head that we've pulled off and we've pulled the motor out and we're refreshing it now to then, then go into yeah. the LM33 again, isn't it? Nah. Where's this one going? Is this ours? But it's ours now. Yeah, well, not Noel's car. Yeah, not Noel's car. Noel's so. car. So this is going into old Noel's car. Yeah. <laughs> um, as you can see, we put the buckets. Did you see that? That was buckets. atrocious. I hope you didn't see that on the camera. <laughs> we put the buckets. Did you see that? They're putting the buckets in. They're the buckets, These are buckets in. Yeah. yeah. So, just cut that bit. Um, so we're putting the buckets in right now. Um, is that, that's what my main mechanic over here, Sam's doing. Um, we've obviously, we've got more, more assembly lube, which is just, you know, better for the application when you're reinstalling buckets. Actually, oil stabiliser is not actually technically assembly. Really? It works, we use it. How do you stabilise oil? Half more, bro. Um, then once we uh, put a couple of this um, stabilising oil on it, we've just probably going to assemble it. Is it the block's not, bottom end's not back, is it? The bottom end's right there. Bottom end's right here. So we've actually got the bottom end wrapped up in um, plastic to keep the dust out of it. As you can see behind that, we have, what is that? It's so small for me, I can't see it. 
Um, oh, yeah. The, uh, size, it's about the motion in the. Oh, yeah, I have heard that, bro. I have heard how, yeah, how you use it. Mm. Yeah. And then once once we put our buckets back in with this stabilising lube, we um we're gonna sit our cams in and bolt yep. our cams down with the cam seats. Yep. Seats. We can't put it on because we don't have a head gasket. Yet. But then we are currently waiting for a head gasket from. We're gonna run a Nido head yep. gasket on it. Yep. One point two. Uh, sure, yeah. Anyway, yep, so we'll run a Nino head gasket when it turns up in the mail, so that should be Monday morning. We'll keep it sounding really fantastic. Why not? No, but they don't need to know that because it sounds fucking good like we're on the ball. Yeah, if you want to take a minute, we can talk about these stands, the head stands that were custom, custom made here by, by my boy. And so we whipped them up, two little legs. We just pretty much copied his legs and then turned them around. So it just, like, like that. Yeah, it's a great way to stay in shape. That's our update. And yeah, we'll leave. Oh, you I've got you. Bye, George. Yeah. Go. That was really oh, good. Bye. 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 Did Bye. So yeah. I did, eh? If you didn't already know, we're doing a giveaway. You can win this Nexus R5 or five grand in fat stacks. Whatever you, your heart desires. Head on over to the Facebook page, check the pin post. Follow all the instructions. I think there's only like four. It's very easy to follow. Very. Your grandma can do it. If your grandma wants to enter. Ooh. Nana could do it. Nana could do Nana it. Could do Nana it. could win five grand. She could buy you so many. I don't think she'd want a nex uh, Nexus. No. Left no. one of the five grand. Yeah, true, true. She's got the option. Yeah. Yeah. So head on over to Facebook, Street Race Solutions. Make sure you go to the right account. There's a couple of fake accounts popping up because we're doing a giveaway. So make sure it's got a heap of posts and it's actually us. If you're unsure, send them, send us a message or something. But yeah. uh, and just for the record, don't click any links that say you've won. There, there would be no links. Because you haven't won yet. It's drawn on the 15th. If a Street Race Solutions page sends you a link to click to say you've won and to claim your prize, don't click it. Because don't click it. It's not us. It ain't a scam, maybe not. Anyway, back to the video. That's it. Yeah. Mate, I can talk about muscly blokes and glory holes. Kicking it over from Daniel since Daniel's busy over there. Oh you know, yeah, nails done or something. Yeah. Wouldn't hurt. It's got G up's motor here. It's all wrapped up. You'll probably see it driving off soon, hey, leaving. You might see it leaving George, eh? So, I'm not too sure if you've all seen it or caught it, but um, GF, GF drove off, took off the other day. George is going to put a little clip in. Got GF's motor here, upside down currently. Um, GF's gone, isn't it, George? That's it. Oh, good. West side. No, you got it. You're right, boys. Keep coming. That's him, my boys. Good game, boys. <laughs> oh, again. While well, we've got Daniel busy over there on the world, I, um, I'll get Daniel to talk about smoke. Okay? So what, what we've got is Jubman and Sam and Daniel just help push this out to there, and we're going to um, we're going to gurney it down. So Smoko's going to have a good clean. Got the motor out. Um, Juddy pumped that out. This is it here on a stand. I actually considered pulling the motor out of. I mean, Daniel considered pulling the motor out of John's car, but Daniel's um, Daniel didn't want to have another. Like, imagine if we had another one of motors just sitting. We basically just have motors. Daniel's going to duck out there and give him a hand when he finished over here. Um, yeah, under the pump, George man. Busy everywhere. I'm pretty sure Daniel's in there at the moment doing a bit on the computer as well. Give George a hand. So I'm just editing Daniel over here. Um, and then we'll just um, jump over to Tyson. Hey, how's it going, Daddy guys? Himmy's GDR in here. Originally coming in for a couple of little touch-ups and we decided discovering a little bit more as we started pulling apart that we wanted to. We, we didn't feel good letting it go without fixing it up properly, so we've decided to go a little bit extra. Um, taking off the rear over fenders, doing a little bit more, just so the car that it is, we can't let it go without getting rust. If he sells it or he keeps it on, we want it to be done properly. So we stripped the whole thing down, windows out, engine bay is all coming, coming out, being all nice and clean. We're gonna clean up underneath it. Every single part's coming apart so we can do it all properly. So as you can see, engine bay guards are off. It's actually really clean under there. And then you get to the back and you see it's got a little bit of old race car heritage, I think. We decided to take the over fenders off because we noticed a little bit of gravel in it. Um, we released it and I think about 20 kilos of gravel came out of it. So I think she's been backed into a kitty litter a couple of times at the racetrack. The car that it is, like we want to do it properly. So we've taken it all apart, taken the over fenders off. This is what we've been found. So 
a little bit of rust coming down where they've cut it off originally to fit the wheels. So we're going to rip that all off, clean it up, get rid of the, rid of the rust, make sure it's going to last for forever basically. We took all the windows out because we noticed a bit of rust coming up around the quarters. As you can see there's a little bit of um, a little bit of hole work to do there so we've got a little bit of cutting and cutting and repairing to do up there. Other than that it's not as bad as it, what it looked from the outside but just to be safe we took it all off sort of make it clean from the inside out and start again so we'll be doing that getting them back on there hopefully within the next day or so and then um, getting her up giving a real good clean underneath um, getting it all nice and black and fresh underneath and then starting with the bodywork back again. So that's all for the body wise so far. And then we go to the actual parts themselves. Just a few little cleanup bits. When the bar was originally made, it's got a plastic piece in the middle, like the original plastic bar. It's been grafted onto it. It was starting to crack off and flake off after the years of abuse. Decided to change where the bar was a little bit. So this originally had a spot for a um, exhaust section. We've cut that out and replaced it over to the other side so it's an even shaped bar now. re it all back in and it's all a nice shaped bar. So everything will be all one piece looking good again. Remove the indicators from the front bar. It's actually in really good nick so it's just going to be a sand down. Give it all, all a freshen up. And then the rest of the parts are pretty good. In general it's, it's a really good car for what it is, for what it's been used for. And it'll be, um, it'll be a new car once it's finished. So pretty excited to see that done. Over the fiberglass though, that's why Cruz isn't here. I think he's sick with fiberglass-itis. <laughs> so, but we'll get back into it. I've got a couple of days off, so Cruz is gonna have to come in and do it off and enjoy himself while I'm not here. Probably swear at me a lot. And then, um, yeah, it'll be all blue again after that. So then on to the next one, which is more fiberglass. So, but no, that's all until next time. Leaking out of that. Where? Come. Oh! Not on me playing floor. Sorry, bro. I didn't put it there. <laughs> <laughs> it's a VL. We're on Smoko. Smoko. Goodbye. Nah, a bit more than that. Smoko. We're on Smoko. We're on it. Um, we pulled the engine back out and tidying it all up. We've pulled all the original fuel lines and fuel system out of the vehicle that was in there. We're gonna rerun all the brand new system and we have modified all the rear handbrake and shock absorber mounts to suit the shortened differential. Daniel. Yeah. Oh, what man. Do you um, yeah, George, man, that's about all we've done on the VL, on Smoko's VL. <laughs> Currently making a fan shroud for the radiator, and then I think we've got to wait for a few things to pop up. Yeah, we're waiting for a few things to pop up, so we're going to leave it at that, George, man. We're going to leave this at the outro, and yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next one. And we'll see you all in the next one. Bye now. Hooray. Make sure you go and um, do the Facebook thing with the giveaway thing. See you there.